podcast powered by Google Cloud. We're looking at Kenley Jansen, whose velocity has really come back this season, averaging 94.7 miles per hour after not breaking 93 the previous five seasons. Jansen also one save away from being the seventh player ever with 400. What do you make of the resurgence so far this season? I mean, so we know this, that he was the slowest working pitcher in baseball when it comes to tempo, right? And with the pitch timer, there was a real concern that he was going to be okay, Bo, to be able to, to handle the pitch timer. Not only is he handling it, he's throwing harder. Who knew? This is a prime example of what adrenaline does for, your, for, for, for the body. When you start to think about him taking all the time that he was taking, it makes you very methodical. Now that he has to get the ball and go, I just think that it's actually increased his intensity, and that's why you're seeing more velocity. And he's been effective so far this year. Listen, at 41 saves last year, even working slowly. So it's hard to look at it and think that the velocity is the sole reason why he's being successful. Can he sustain this with where he is right now? I'm not sure he's going to sustain an ERA under one because that's asking a lot out of anybody. But I think where you see him right now, you know, he's using that cutter 80% of the time, and he's got a, he's in the top 97th percentile in fastball spit. So it's not only that he's throwing a little harder, spin rates are off the chart, uh, and you know, hitters are only slugging 212 against him. So when they are putting the ball in play, they're not doing a lot of damage against him. Uh, I think he's he's really enjoying this, and the fact that I think I liked what you said about the adrenaline because we've looked so much at the guys who throw 102 and how the pitch timer is going to affect them because they're not going to be able to have the same recovery. When you're throwing 92 or 93 and you hop that up to 94, that's adrenaline. That's not – you don't need to dig back to get that. And I think Jansen is actually surprisingly benefiting from the pitch clock this year. You season. know, the Red Sox did not make a lot of moves in the starting rotation last year. They fortified the bullpen. Chris Martin coming in there too, and they get Kenley Jansen. Is that enough pitching? They've got a pretty good offense. If they can just out-hit their starting pitching – do they have enough to be a playoff team? They have enough. When you, when, you, when you look at the American League East and you having five teams over 500, what happens in good divisions like that is everybody is going to beat up on everybody else. For me, I think that actually helps the Red Sox have a chance to get into the playoffs. I also like you know, the idea that if they are in this race, they'll go get somebody. There are going to be plenty of pitchers out there for the taking. I'm not talking about number one, number two type starters, but guys in the middle of a rotation, you mentioned it before, National League does not have a lot of competitive teams this year. You're going to see teams at the deadline be realistic about those options, even if there is a third wild card, and say, all right, if we can get a prospect or two for this guy, maybe an impending free agent, maybe one year left, Boston's the kind of team they know what that city's like when they don't make the playoffs, they want to get back there. Interesting you mentioned that, right? So potential play uh, trade chips at the deadline.